It is the Southern Hemisphere's biggest horror theme park where every weekend a diverse group of amateur performers come together to literally try and scare the beep out of their punters. <laughs> the story of this community and the family that runs the business is told in the film Spookers and we're delighted to welcome to the cafe its director Florian Habicht and two of the stars, Puppy and Mildred. Um, yes. Awesome to have you guys here. <laughs> Firstly, um, Florian, hey, congratulations on the film. It's got heart, it has humour. Um, before we talk about the film, though, the theme park spookers, uh, tell people about that. Uh, there's theme parks all over the world, horror ones, but there's none like spookers. And um, the amount of, um, yeah, love and s talent and skill involved is more like a Broadway production than a theme park. And it's the only theme park in the world where um, the scarers are allowed to touch people. Oh. Oh, except, for the, so, except for the wobbly bits. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. You've done your homework. Yeah, I have, yeah. So, okay, so look, when you went in to make this, Floria, what were you hoping to get from it? Because I guess you could have done so many different things, but what were you hoping to get? Well, I'm not a horror person, and before making the film, I was actually too scared to go there. So this film is a bit more like my previous films, Kaiko Demolition, or the Pulp one. It's, it's more about the, um, the community, the people, um, that, that work there and going behind the masks, that kind of thing. Puppy, um, oh, you work there. Um, yeah. So <laughs> what on earth made you want to do a job where you're scaring people? Well, my friends got sick of me scaring them at school. <laughs> so uh, they just said, go work at Spookers. So I did. Okay, and that was one of the beautiful things that I noticed. I've been lucky enough to see this documentary. Congrats, by the way. I think it's awesome. Well, I got a real sense of of community, a real sense of family there. And, and Mildred, you, how long have you been part of Spookers for? Uh, I'm coming up 10 years. So what makes you keep going back there all the time? Watching them get scared. Right. <laughs> and Mildred's had three generations work at Spookers, yeah. right? Your my daughter? mum worked there and my daughter worked there as well. Oh, that's right. amazing. Yeah. yeah. And what about the makeup? I mean, who teaches you to do this? Um, we get taught some things at the start, but then we just get taught, like, to go on your own and teach yourself. Mm. So yeah, basically I've just taught myself for six years now. Yeah, and I can tell you what, you can um, you learn a lot when you watch this documentary about how spookers work, you learn a lot about the individual characters, but if you want to try and get your head around what this film is like, let's take a look at this short clip. The beauty of working at spookers is that you can be whoever the hell you want to be. There's a lot that happens behind the makeup. And I did get bullied about having dyslexia and all that. Working here has helped me to get past being quiet and shy. The spookers family has helped me basically. I feel comfortable there. I feel wanted there. I feel like there's something I can give there. When I first started walking here, I was kind of scared of clowns. But now that I work here, I've become one. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Florian, I wanted to ask you this question. Could have you made this documentary at any workplace and got the stories that you did? Or is there something special about Spookers? Definitely not something very special about Spookers. Right. Yeah. Because I looked at that film and I thought you cover all the subtext in it, fear, stress, emotion, anxiety, depression, suicide, sexuality, yeah. and there's a lot of stories that I didn't see coming. And amongst the cast of Spookers, did you see them coming or were they stories that developed as you made the movie? Um, I, when I went there for the first time with my camera, I, I got a sense, for me, I was trying hard not to make the film. I actually got a phone call from the Madman production company in Australia who had an idea to make a film about Spookers and they needed a New Zealand director. Right. So it's the first time I've actually um, made a film that someone else has kind of initiated. And I, I was working on another project and I really, really didn't want to do it. But I went to Spookers <laughs> with my camera and um, I was, as a filmmaker, I was like, this is gold. And I fell in love with these guys and, um, and the history that it used to be a psychiatric hospital, yeah. and, you know, and I could feel that heaviness there. Um, so I just knew it was going to be a really interesting film. What, and uh, what about the Watson family who run the whole show? They're really beautiful. They, yeah, they look after their staff so well. That's why you've got three generations working there. Yeah. Yeah. They, um, they, yeah and, and really smart business people. OK, I need to ask you guys this question, because there's a little rumour floating around, which I've heard. Is it true that you get 
a bonus if you make someone wet themselves. <laughs> a puppy, you can go first. <laughs> um, apparently they did years ago. Oh. oh. But, uh, not anymore. Right. <laughs> Too many people getting wet pants. Too many. <laughs> Too many. <laughs> and what about working at an old psychiatric hospital? Um, are there any ghost stories or have you seen anything like that? We Is have our spooky? residents yeah. that don't get paid to scare people, if you get what I mean. Really? Oh, okay. We do have a few things happen, but, you know, as actors you just go, OK, and keep going. So. And Mildred, do people think you're a bit bonkers doing the speakers <laughs> thing for generations? Uh, some do. Some ask, you know, like, um, you know, how, how can you do it? And it's just, uh, to me, I breathe it. I breathe it, love it. I love horrors. Yeah. So. And she has an amazing routine. Like, <laughs> yeah. With Mildred. With Mildred. She's a bit of a sassy old woman yeah. type thing. Mm. And, and do the Watsons teach you that or do you develop your own characters? We develop our own characters. No way. Okay, yeah. really? Yeah. And what about the look and feel of each character? You develop that as well? Yeah. They're all our own original characters. Yeah. And Flory, what about the workshops that you had to do to incorporate them into the film? Uh, we did a, right at the beginning, we did like a little workshop to get to know each other more and I put my hat in the, in the middle of the room and we were just writing down things about ourselves, just a way to get to know each other. And the guys, um, lots of them told me their dreams and nightmares and it was quite confronting and that's Ooh. what gave me the idea to actually put um, the spooker's dreams into the film and then these guys like reenacted them and acted them and got to take their performing to like another level. And, um, and that's like a thread that goes through the film. So. No, and I do, I do love that scene in the movie on the bed. I think it's flying William's bed. dream. Yeah, if you, you want know. to see a flying bed. Yeah, and you're right, and you're making his dreams come true. And I, I do hear that there's been some sort of flow on for some of the actors from this as well, Puppy. Have you heard this? That some of them have been asked to do a little bit more of extra oh, yeah. work. Oh, yeah. When yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Australia. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah Peggy. <laughs> and I was thinking too, Florian, would you ever now, because when I look at the movie, there's a lot of horror in it, which is, you know, it is, it's really scary, the sequences, but also the great stories. Would you consider making a horror movie now, even though you hate it? Uh, it's still not really my thing. <laughs> I'm more in it for the heart and the soul. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah. and so. would you, Puppy, if you got the chance to be cast in a horror, would you actually do it? Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> um, what do you want people to take away from the film? I want them to laugh and cry and... Yeah, we got a standing ovation in Sydney. Oh, wow. So that was pretty amazing. So I think just being moved by it because these guys have got such beautiful stories. Yeah. And well, what do you think, Florian, you know, when you, when you finished, was it the story about spookers or was it the individual stories about the characters that you, you liked the most at the end of the day? Because, you know, the, as I said right at the start, there's so much territory it covers. You go from highs and lows. Yeah. Um, but, you know, what did you take away from the experience? Well, it's the human stories, but also as artists, how they're all self-taught. And um, I, when I made the film, I learned that the word amateur means, it's from Greek, and it means doing, doing stuff out of love and passion. And that's how I learned filmmaking as well, like in the beginning, by teaching myself. So as artists, I, we kind of just jowled, and I sort of felt at home um, with these guys. Cool. Right, and yeah. Puppy, can you just show us what's the best way to scare people? You can try it out on Mel if you like. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> that is fantastic. Um, and Spookers is Have playing. you ever been? What? No, never. Oh, good, we're going. I think I'd we're love going. to go. Premier <laughs> on I'll Saturday tell you, night. Premier on Saturday. New I'll Zealand premiere. Civic, Civic. Right? Yeah, yeah, get some tickets, get along. Yeah. Part of the yeah. film festival. Yeah, playing as part of the New Zealand International Film Festival. Uh, for more details, just head along to their website. Awesome, thanks, guys. Yeah, fantastic. Team, by the way, congratulations. Thanks,